was the night Softer than satin was the light From the stars She wore blue Jack, are you gonna get in? This is for me. Oh. It's awfully quiet in here. Uh, I can turn on the radio. Only if you want to. I mean, I'd rather just sit here in silence, honestly. Your car, your rules, David. Oh, thank you. You know, this is my first time using one of these internet taxis. Mm hmm I figured. I usually bike around town, but I got these flowers and I didn't want to ruin them. Who are the flowers for? My wife. It's our anniversary. Oh, congratulations. Are you picking her up for a hot date? Nah, she's dead. Oh. <laughs> Um, uh, sorry. So, did you guys meet in L.A.? Nah, Cleveland. We met in Cleveland, John Adams High School, senior year. Back then, my father was a part-time salesman, a full-time alcoholic. He was really abusive. He used to lock my little brother and me in this dark shed for hours on end. Then he'd take us out and beat us with sticks. Interesting. Everybody's got their cross to bear, David. But the trick is to find someone to help you carry the weight. And for me, that was my wife, Mary. Uh, well, was she hot? Stunning. She had the best ass. <laughs> Hell yeah, Jack. So, uh, what brought you out here? Well, after high school, I decided I needed to get away from home. Thought I'd move west. But I wasn't going anywhere without Mary. So on graduation day, I got down on one knee and proposed. With this cheap little plastic ring I bought at a vending machine at a gas store. It was all I could afford. <laughs> Damn, a, a gas station ring? Were, were you nervous? No, not at all. I'd never been so sure of anything in my life. Of course, I wasn't sure she'd say yes. But the decision to ask her, that was easy. But... She said yes. Yes, sir. And now we're driving to her grave. You didn't, uh, you didn't kill her, did you, Jack? Heavens no. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> Sorry, I just, I, I kind of get this whole, like, serial killer vibe. Uh, so, uh, what, what, did, what did you do once you moved out here? At first, lots of drugs. Back then, LSD was hip. Is it still hip? Um, sure. Well, then the drugs took over. No money, no job, no home. And I'm stuck in a new town with my bride. I started to panic. I needed to step up. Because I dragged her all the way out here to solve my problems. But the funny thing is, David, a geographic change doesn't fix your problems. It's just an escape. That's it. So what did you do? Drove home and killed my father. I knew it! I'm just pulling your leg. Actually, Mary saved my life. Got me to clean up my act. We started a successful construction business in Santa Clarita. We had three kids. It was all bliss. Even when she got the cancer. That was 10 years ago. I miss her more than anything. So do you have a wife and kids? Um, am I giving off a wife and kids vibe? Well, you drive a minivan. No, I mean, I date around, but it, nothing serious. Nothing yet. Trust me, it'll happen, David. You seem like a good person. I don't think so. What do you mean? I don't know. I, I kind of just hate most people. 
I mean, I hated you before we started talking. I react too quickly. I'm probably too judgmental. You're a good guy, David. And in the end, everything, everything will work out. And maybe when you get to be my age, you can take a ride with a new friend and tell them a little about your life. And they'll listen. But in my heart there'll always be precious and right. the cemetery. You know, I often do this alone. Oh. Your kids don't come with? No, they all moved back east. Oh. Would you care to accompany me? Oh. Um. I. Oh. No, I. Sorry, I gotta. I gotta take this. Is it an emergency? <laughs> no, I just. I got another trip request and. I can make like four dollars, so I gotta, I gotta take this. Sorry. Oh. Okay. Well, thanks. Take care, Jack. <laughs>